Grade 8 math number 10.2e, we're still talking about dilations, and now we're going to talk about what happens when the x and y coordinates overlap. Sometimes we plot the x and y values, and the pre-image may share values of the image. They may have the same points, but not because the scale factor is 1. Now in the video 10.2b, we talked about what happens when the scale factor is 1, the x and y values stay the same, and the image will lay directly on top of the pre-image. So in this, for this triangle, there's a blue triangle and a pink triangle. And because the scale factor is 1, when we go to multiply the factors by that scale factor of 1, in this next one it's going to be a half, I'll show you. But if we multiply the values for the blue triangle, ABC, by 1, it's going to stay the same. We're multiplying by 1. So A prime, B prime, C prime are going to be exactly the same as the preimage, ABC. So when we draw them, they're just going to lay right on top of each other. See? So they would share the same points, wouldn't they? They'd share the same vertices because it's a scale factor of 1. It's just laying on top of it. But as with this triangle, it's reduced by a scale factor of a half. The pre-image and the image can share a non-corresponding point. So this triangle, A, B, C, the blue one is the pre-image, and the image is A prime, B prime, C prime. And look, A and the B prime are sharing a point. Well, that happens. We plot the points for this triangle, and A is at 3, 3. See that? and B is at 6, 6, and C is at 3, 6. When we multiply them by a half, what we get is A prime becomes 1.5, 1.5, B prime becomes 3, 3, and C prime becomes 1.53. They're all half of these values. Both the pre-image, A, B, C, and the image, A prime, B prime, C prime, share that point, 3, 3. See? But they're not corresponding, are they? They're not corresponding points or vertices. It's no big deal. This happens sometimes. Because the orientation of the figures, the two non-corresponding points of A prime of A prime and B, this point here and this point way over here, they'll appear to share the same line drawn for the center of dilation. So look at this. We draw the line for to find the center of dilation, we draw it through C and C prime, and it goes to the origin. And we draw it through A and A prime, and it goes to the origin. We draw it through B and B prime, but it kind of looks like it's the same line. See that? It looks like one line. Well, what's happening is, because of the orientation of the figures, A prime and B appear to be sharing that drawn line, to the center dilation, in this case the origin, but really what's happening is the lines for A and A prime and B and B prime are on top of each other. See? When we drew the line to go to the center of dilation between B and B prime, it just went on top of the line for A and A prime. That's all. It doubled from this point to this point right here in between these two points. So really there are three lines, it's just that there's some on top of each other, and so it looks like there's only two. See? So I wanted to show you this. It's no big deal. You can have non-corresponding points share the same point, like in this case, the A and the B prime. That's no big deal. We just multiplied it by a half, and that's what happened. Okay? And remember that if the factor scale factor is 1, it's going to lay on top of each other, and of course they'll share points then. But this can happen, and it's no big deal. We just do the best we can to draw it to show the lines going to the center of origin. That's all, okay? So I, it was a little bit different. I wanted to show that to you. Now what we're going to talk about in the next video in 10.2f, we're going to talk about dilations when a figure is an open figure. Now we've been doing closed figures. The difference between a closed figure and an open figure is an open figure would be like that. One of the sides is open. Closed figures, they're all closed. All the sides meet and you can't get in. Okay, it's like a, if you were inside, you'd be trapped. In this one, you could get out. 
See? So we're going to talk about doing dilations for open figures in 10.2F. Okay? I hope I'll see you there. I hope this was helpful. I just kind of threw this in extra because I thought this was a little bit odd and an anomaly. And I'll see you next video. Bye.